Hello, ladies and gents, and welcome back to the A to Z podcast in its sixth episode. I'm here with the man, Averin Lefebvre. That's right, and this is Z Griff, Zach Griffin, the fine pelican. That's right, yeah. Um, we were talking about nicknames in there, you know, <laughs> how they start. And oh, yeah. It's just the greatest. I think we should do, like, flashes of people and be like, nickname. Yeah, it'll give him a, like a one second nickname or something. Yeah, like, we'll just we'll just do a mini right clips. Us. Yeah, like you send in your yeah hashtag. Do you want a nickname from us? You know, Th- or, maybe that could be one of the Patreon things we do since we're going to launch that crowdfunding well, yeah. or, or, uh, patron support funding that we're going to launch here shortly. But for those of you that are only listening and not watching us on YouTube, we've changed the format. We're now staring directly at the camera. The green screen's behind us, so that I can put things behind us. Mm-hmm. Because some people like to complain that the green screen is frying their eyes because they're bitches. Oh, it's just this big green. They're like, I can't deal the with the green. <laughs> so, okay, so what's up with the skateboard? Oh, I'm here. It is summer season, skateboard season. And I got to say thanks to my man Casey Hinderman, the owner of Hollywood out there in Iowa, an indoor skate park. He sent out this 8 5 beauty for me and my homie Corey. Thanks so much. Casey used to live here, and he moved back home to start up his uh, his dream, his indoor skate park. Hollywood is in full ops. I think it's uh, coming on a year anniversary, and just a great place for all the skaters and people of Iowa, the kids, the youth. And uh, get yourself some swag. Get on their website. Check them out. Thanks, sure. Casey. One of the best uh, snowboarders I know from from Iowa or in general. <laughs> is there snowboarding in Iowa? Um, yeah, well, they all go to like, um, uh, you know, it's like the same as the Illinois people, like... Uh, well, like Perfect North or something um, like that? Or did they just... Chestnut uh, okay. was where Corey like, went. And, and Wilmette um, and stuff. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Okay. But man, just a rip and border in person. So but thanks again, it, Case, for the skate. Stoked. Right. Well, so my, my shout out is to uh, CBD oil and cream. Because I have arthritis in my joints. Oh, man. Every over 30 this skater guy, person. You know, I'll tell you what. My hands have been really bad lately. And this stuff has been helping me. So they're not paying for advertising. But God damn, I would love some marijuana money on the podcast. So if anyone works in the marijuana industry and wants us to promote your products, please. He smokes a lot of weed. Yeah. And I'll, I'll use CBD cream all day for joint Yeah, goodness, yeah, yeah. So. Kid tested. Yeah. Well, I don't know if we're kids anymore. We're over thirty. Yeah, <laughs> we're like we're like old men now. You roll into the park; it doesn't matter what you do. They're the, everyone's just like they paid their dues. Like, dude, <laughs> yeah, I can ollie over a rail, and everyone's excited. It does. I'm allowed to get away with zeeches. It's the greatest thing uh-huh. on earth. I well, can, yeah. <laughs> I have become a worse snowboarder because of this, and it's amazing. No, that's kind of the funny thing. You show up with like new shit, new boards, because now you're old. And you always give yourself. Yeah, exactly. Your friends start yeah. companies, and so you're sponsored. So the kids think you're all good. You show up, with yeah. brand new shoes, and they, they back in. Yeah. <laughs> It's too good. So what are your plans for the summer now that a basin has closed? I'm uh, really just going to get back out on the skateboard tip and do some filming and uh, and shooting and writing for Street Kingpins, Ian okay. Smith's app and Mark Hoyt's app, yep. and um, hopefully follow them to a couple of events and different different spots where they'll be throwing the tent up and, and, and doing demos. And, um, man, just... Uh, Doing that summer grind, I have the hashtag Zgriff sucks at summer. Ooh, that's a new one. We'll put that up on the green screen. Zgriff sucks at summer, and it's just like, <laughs> yeah. Follow me as I as I uh, <laughs> as I just just make it through summer. <laughs> you just don't know what to do because you're not snowboarding. I just for a said, long like you know half. like. I'm 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 serving a volleyball underhand because I can't do it overhand. I'm I'm fishing and I suck at it. I, you go to cast and the whole yeah, reel just I, goes flying yeah. into the creek. I go to eat an ice cream cone and just, just falls, falls off. off um, fucking, you're gonna be the guy at the skate park whose wheel just comes the off. The wheel comes rolls. off. Yeah, fucking. I get a wicked sunburn. I have a fall asleep out on this. You you're know. the guy that goes biking and someone steals your bike. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's not good summer. Well, somebody's good thing it's short around here. <laughs> yeah, I just hide inside. I love all these people. They're like, "What do you do in the summer? Sleep." I do. I, I really, sleep. really love sleeping. I sleep. I go to work, and I work on shit for angry. Which right now, I mean, you showed up. 
and I was in the process of rearranging the studio because right now I'm filming somewhere between eight and 15 board review videos a day. This, the, the level of work here would go into like a huge warehouse with, with 10 people in oh San God. Fran or something. God, if I could have 10 people, which is even better. One I, day. Yeah. Well, like I was telling you, so everyone out there listening knows, I just ordered a green morph suit for the green screen. You guys are getting headless people floating around and shit. I'm going to get really weird with these product reviews. Yeah. It's going to be absolutely frigging hilarious. The, flo <laughs> the floating head brain. Like, uh. Like, uh, what's the fucking... I just watched the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and... Krang? You know, Krang, yeah. yeah no, I think I'd be more like Jombie from Pee-wee's Pee -wee Playhouse. Like, you open the doors and there's just oh, this no. little genie head in there. So I'm just going to be, like, floating around the videos and shit. And uh, I downloaded some After Effects, so there's going to be explosions and shit. I'm going to become the Michael Bay of snowboarding. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, women. Your, your characters just don't matter. Smash, um, smash! Yeah, exactly. So... The women... Are here and the women. I yeah. There's gonna be women guests on the King of the Road this year. The skateboard yeah. thing. That's pretty cool. Yeah, my friend Trevor actually films that. Trevor Cushing. Uh, so he's on the road that whole time. Yeah, he's the one I there. did. Uh, he used to do Powder and Rails for Vice, and I've got two interviews on the site. If anyone wants to check them out, just search for Trevor Cushing, or I'll, maybe I'll put a link in the description. But yeah, he's the guy that's now working with King of the Road out there. So. Um, I follow him on social media and for Facebook friends with him and just see see what he's doing behind the scenes, which is really cool if you follow King of the Road Very and good. whatnot. Uh, yeah, that's what we want to do with the show is essentially make make, make stops in cities by you and, and, and come through. There'd be probably less uh, pissing and shit. And, I don't know. Um, I piss a lot. <laughs> I, I, I have no qualms with peeing in a jug and throwing it sure, in sure, somewhere. Sure, 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 sure. So, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, like it's, so like in the last episode, we were talking about... Uh, Z Griff here bringing On the Hill over to Angry. Mm -hmm. uh, we're still talking about that. Uh, didn't hear anything from you people, so I don't know what that means. But, yeah, if you guys would want us to do daily or at least a couple times a week or maybe big episodes once a month or something. with Yeah, it'd be like a King of the Road kind of setup. At the, yeah, where you he's know, traveling a full, around. a full episode, 45 minutes, and then kind of a webisode. Eight minutes, you know. You like, think you could do four? You think you could fill up yeah, forty-five for sure. minutes? Yeah, on the road, it's so okay. I, I mean, I was bad when I went on the road with Nightmare, just filming yeah, everything just... and all this shit. Like, had so much stuff. We'd always be driving, and I'd f put the window down and like filming, you know, the city pass by and shit, and just like all this bullshit B-roll. Yeah, I don't know. I I did have a lot of people actually say they want the cooking show, so. Um, I talked with Ben West, our filmer, about that, and he thinks uh, he's got an idea how we could do it. It would probably be more BuzzFeed style than, like, Cooking Network or whatever that is. But I think the people have spoken. They want the cooking show, so – and uh, our boy Vic is – gonna have some time available oh yes so dude dirty thinking, 30 productions our man vic yeah, our man vic so he I, was the think, best I was thinking around. i was thinking about getting maybe the two of you guys together we'll call it snowboarding chefs mm -hmm. and you guys could just take turns making after chefing for many years uh in the same town uh vic and i finally got to chef together for a short stint when the blue stag opened he and yep. i both worked there and it was just great man funniest and best music <laughs> Um, yeah, but, uh, yeah, I, I, I miss, uh, let's, let's do that. I miss cooking and I would love to get back in the, back on the, uh, chopping broccoli and we'll make some good stuff. Yeah, exactly. I figured you guys, so we'll, we're going to probably sit down after I get all the product review videos done. Cause that is overwhelming right now. I'm filming anywhere between four and eight hours a day. Mm, plus, plus, plus right now I'm. I'm working more than 40 hours a week at my day job because people are on vacation. So I yeah. will not have a day off until the 30th of this month. So it's I'm working 21 days straight. <laughs> 21. Well, it's okay. I need to fund this show somehow. Hey, I Fund right. this website. So yeah. the, the extra money from that. But hey, if you guys want to support us, you can always click through the affiliate links and buy stuff from Snowboard Shops and we'll get a commission on that. And like I've said before in the past, we're getting ready to launch a Patreon. So for those of you that like to donate money for stupid causes, we got you covered because you could give us a dollar a month. I mean, it might feed this guy. <laughs> but, I, you know, once the, once that drops, we'll have different rewards and stuff in different tiers. But we'll also be doing some behind-the-scenes videos for everyone. 
we'll have products that uh, maybe I'll do some t-shirt giveaways or something like that. I'm still looking into everything about all this. It's still kind of new to me. So we've got that going on. Mm -hmm. And uh, as always, the snowboard world continues to function. It hasn't died yet, even though it's the U.S. is under Donald Trump's regime. But he, um, he's out to, a big hit to the... Yeah. A, yeah, a big hit. That's where I was going That's where we're heading, yeah. yeah. Uh, Camp Champions has shuttered its doors due to climate change. That's right. Whistler's uh, famous summer camp run by, what, Ackenbach is his name? Ken Ackenbach? Ken Ackenbach, yeah. Um, and he's he's had that business for... Almost 30 years. Yeah, yeah. You know, on the glacier in Whistler, where I have... I've been to the glacier. I've been to the glacier, it's too. I went there with my ex-girlfriend. She pushed me down, I think. I can't remember. Every, I tried to black that out, but... Um. They all have a way of pulling you down. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Maybe, maybe we'll just start doing podcasts about dating in a ski town being over 30 and dating in a ski town, it'll just be you and me griping about how there's no women that want to talk to us anymore. <laughs> Looking for non-drinking women who are into activities. Yes, that, that, that understand. don't mind that understand. shredders that shred 175 days a year. Or exactly. Pretty much fall asleep after. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like, go, yeah. But, but to go back to the point, yeah, Camp Champions has packed it in due to climate change, which is something that affects all of us as snowboarders. Yeah, it came down because they said the, incidentally, the colder, longer winter. The snowier winter. The snowier winter in it was, Whistler it was caused more, them to have less of a uh, water in the snowpack, which is essentially what uh, keeps that glacier, glacier around yeah. and kicking around. When we say glacier, it's like... We don't mean they're like literally riding on this old glacier. No, but they're they're, they're, that's yeah. the base that the snow sticks to. But yeah, it's been it's receding an for years. And I guess last year they were saying norm that it was starting at Tower 3 for the rope toe instead of all the way to the bottom. And you had to do more hiking. And if you look at the history of Camp Champions, it's uh, the last few years they've been cutting back how many sessions they have just mm. because of the snowpack. They're not in a position like the ones up on Mount Hood where they can really farm the snow in a bad year. Yeah, they up in a Mount Hood scenario is that really dry kind of it's like a big refrigerator up there even even Mammoth has that kind of uh really dry climb but Whistler's rainforest or you know yep. it, this is like yeah, it's this is really well, it's the sun they, beating down and it's where they filmed all the snow scenes for the X-Files just in case anyone's wondering. <laughs> really? Yeah, you didn't know that. Yeah, oh, they, they yeah, used awesome. Vancouver um, a lot for that show, which a lot of a lot of places that use New York City and stuff use Vancouver because they get a better tax credit, or they'll use Toronto. Canada, Canada is like, we're gonna go make a TV show. Come to us. Come, come. We, oh, you want New York? We got you covered. We'll mm -hmm. give you a tax credit. Yeah, that's yeah, where they yeah. filmed all like... Highlander and stuff. <laughs> yeah, I think the Crow was filmed there too. Amsterdam. Yep, that's where Swollen Members is from. My favorite Canadian rap group, yes. Prev One. <laughs> anyway, no, the, uh, the greatest the greatest Canadian rapper of all time is Snow is from Toronto. DJ Snow is from Toronto. No, he's not DJ. He's just oh, he's not, Snow, Informer. Just Snow, Informer. Former. Okay. Which, if you watch Ask a Black Snowboarder, there's there's a great episode. Oh man, coming Informer. up about that. Yeah. Oh, dude. Yeah. You guys will love that. So. Third base. I think Informer used to be in third base. He oh, might have been. Yeah. Who, who fucking knows? But yeah, Achenbach, the camp is down, and how do I feel about this? It's funny because like, you know, I've never been really one of the people that got to go to any of these camps. You never went to a camp? No. I, I went to Wendell's when it, the first year that it allowed skiing. I like to believe that I'm the cause that it's a ski camp now. Snowboarding, you mean? Yeah, well, no, they allowed skiing the first year I was there. I mean, I'm a snowboarder, but now it's a ski camp. Oh, I see what you mean, yeah. Because... Because all the snowboarders go to High Cascade. Oh, yeah, 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 so. yeah. Well, yeah, and that, so that was what it was up in Whistler. Is like, Achenbach was worried that he wasn't going to be able to provide the huge jumps and the rails and the yep. experience that they sell, which is, uh, I've seen it forever, my whole my whole time. I picture Gigi Ruff flying these. Well, you got to look at, yeah, you look at the guys that came out of there, the Canadian guys, the Wildcats, a lot of Europeans have been through there. There's, yeah, there's, there's, a, like there's a strong a, history. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So that's uh, so in lieu of putting up like a subpar park and charging eighteen hundred dollars a person, um, they they pulled out. I think Whistler said you can 
No, I, I it wasn't. Know. No, it wasn't Whistler. It's uh, Ken just realized that they couldn't yeah. offer what people were going to expect, and if they showed up and everything was cut in half, yeah, it wasn't fair to him. So, they, so they issued refunds, and basically he's declared bankruptcy. bankruptcy. So mm. it's a uh, it's a sad day in the snowboard world, which you know in North America that really leaves us with the hood camp. So you've got High Cascade. And Windells, which is We Are Camp. You've got the Mount Hood Summer Ski Camp. You've got Public Park at Mount Hood. And then you've got the Woodwards. So you got Tahoe and yeah. uh, Copper. Tahoe and Copper. And again, they have Public Park, but uh, the camps are 1800 bucks a yep. week. So it's that same feeling where I like fucking couldn't go anyway have never been able to go anyway so fuck it <laughs> i'm sad for that uh this 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 climate issue you well know? but i mean for it's... camp it sucks like camp was for i fucking can't go to fucking camp man right fucking, camp, you know what i mean camps camp's fun i mean i went to wendell's when i was 18 i saved for two years my brother helped pay for it my grandmother helped pay for it as my graduation present that's right that's right so i went to that and then i worked at woodward for a year and then uh Angry sponsored the adult session for two years, and then when I was doing consultancy work with Echelon Snowboards, we mm. sponsored a week at Woodward as well. Gosh. So I've, I've gotten to do the camp thing on just about every side, I guess. Oh, that's pretty you good. Know, I've done adult, I've done yep. kid, it's it's crazy. But I want to go bad, and I can't go. Like I remember when I went to Whistler, we were riding in the public park, and I rolled through their private park and promptly got kicked out, and... Uh, yeah, I thought I was gonna like bust in and fucking be discovered, you know. And uh, they're like, "Get the fuck out of here!" So then I've I've had the similar feeling every other camp of like I'm being excluded. I fucking love snowboarding, and I, who should want to go more in the summer than me up there? But I can't go. Just have some kids, and then you can be an adult chaperone. There we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, you know what? No, we'll just talk to uh, we'll talk to Courtney since she's the marketing. Or the camp director at Windells now. She'll nice. she'll she'll hire you next summer, and you can go work at Windells all summer. There you get go. on hill. That's I mean it's um it's a cool thing the summer the summer snowboarding and now that That's one Mammoth last... is in the game more. It seems like more people are in the game. Well, the Mammoth since yeah this year Mammoth's in the game. But what about next year if they have a drought? It, it's they're so seasonal. Mm -hmm. I, you can't say anything about that. But what I like about it is that it makes people think of snowboarding as not like a just a seasonal thing. It's like, wow, this is just a. Well, I mean, there's always going to be people that think of it as seasonal. Yeah, that's fine. It, they're not in the lifestyle. They're yeah. not chasing it like us. But the bigger the bigger thing we got to worry about here is this climate change, and yeah. we've got to really actually fight about it. But if like, ever was a canary in a coal mine. I, this could be yeah. This Camp is, of Champions is, was yeah. the ca canary, and it just died. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna take a break, put a commercial break in here, and we're gonna come back and talk about Jeremy Jones's letter on climate change to President Trump. 